patient engagement is very important to me. Um, seeing that I was a patient and how I was treated in, in the system, uh, we can make a change if we make a stand. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to sit on the CHI committees. The way you engage in community with the Indigenous community is being honest. Don't go there with any preconceived ideas. Go there with an open page and ask them, how do you want to be engaged? One of the projects that we are working on that engages uh, people with lived experience um, is also focused on understanding the perspectives of people with lived experience of a health condition as well. And so this is called the, the Valuing All Voices Project and we're funded by CIHR to build on some of the existing frameworks for patient engagement to uh, really help uh, foster and um, promote um, authentic, meaningful engagement of people from all health backgrounds. Um, so trying to more purposefully engage voices less heard in health research. And so in the course of this project, um, we're not only um, engaging people with lived with lived experience as uh, participants in the research, but we also have um, uh, an individual who represents a number of these intersections um, as a member of the research team. One of the ways that we are trying to, to put it into practice is to include patient engagement as part of the format for our, our template for evaluation proposals. Um, and so my hope is that by having that included right within the evaluation proposal template that uh, it will cue the, each of the members of the evaluation platform to at least think about that while they're planning every evaluation and that in that way we all get some experience with patient engagement and share our experiences with each other so that we become more comfortable and that we're able to easily involve patients. In the health systems performance platform we do implement um, the choosing wisely recommendations and in other provinces they have uh, engaged the patient patients in public in a very meaningful way. So in our platform we hope to expand our diversity of patients um, and, and public that are involved in our work by following some of the strategies that have been developed in these other provinces, in these other engagement groups, and also meeting and um, interacting with some of the advisory committees and groups that are already in place here in Manitoba. Patient and public engagement is important within Devotion because it's an opportunity to have those partnerships with people who have a very direct link and experience to a health issue. So the most direct experience I've had with patient and public engagement has been supporting um, a study called Eye Care, which is really looking at uh, kidney damage in youth that, that live with type 2 diabetes. And so we actually have um, a public and patient advisory group made up of kids and also caregivers who live with type 2 diabetes or care for someone who does. And that has been really interesting and important because prior to having that formal advisory group, um, the focus was primarily on biological risk factors like measuring A1C levels and high blood pr pressure or sugar levels, but it really goes beyond that it's when you're speaking to someone who lives with type 2 diabetes and we've uh, found that mental health and emotional support is such a key factor and it's such a priority for our advisory group and so they've actually changed the research approach and they're using a it's called a biopsychosocial approach um, and they're starting to look at how um, risk factors such as stress can have an impact on kidney health in relation to type 2 diabetes that wouldn't have been established without having an advisory group um, reminding us that that's such an important thing not only